Hey guys, good morning. It's Anthony here. It is Saturday, May 5th, 2018. And I'm here in Control Center uh, with Teddy. And Charlotte's here somewhere. And um, I wanted to do this intro video and then attach later on this weekend another full-scale uh, demo video of this uh, Lifesaver water filter that I purchased. You see right here. This is the uh, water bottle sized version. This is the new one they have out called the Liberty. Um, over the last couple of months in several of my videos, you heard me talk about water that this year I was going to really concentrate on my water game. Uh, storing water, uh, procuring water, being able to purify water, make it drinkable, uh, and then also to make it portable. And so what Lifesaver gives me is that ability uh, that if I'm on the go, if I'm on the run, if something's going on, if there's a situation where I have to suddenly leave my house, my home, my, my instead of bugging in, I have to bug out, something happened. Uh, actually, just yesterday in my area of operation here, um, a freight train derailed. Now, on that freight train was only, uh, I think, fertilizers, and some other non-caustic items or non-toxic items. Now, sometimes when a freight train overturns, and we've seen it around the country, or a uh, tractor trailer of some type that's carrying toxic chemicals uh, is punctured and, and overturns, they evacuate in to total areas, and depending on the gas and how it travels, or the liquid and how it's traveling, or picked up by the prevailing winds, uh, you could find yourself being uh, evacuated. And if you were, and you had to leave at a moment's notice, and I have plenty of videos on my channel on a moment's notice type things, uh, what would you grab? What would you be able to take? And not knowing if you're going to come home in a day or two or a week, you know, you need to have the mobility and the self and the assurance that you could at least purify water at the very least. Um, let alone having food, medical supplies, and, and a bug out bag and stuff like that. Uh, water is number one uh, when you're on the run and when, you, uh, when your body needs water, it will let you know uh, because uh, you could quickly find yourself in this, uh, in a climate that's warm, like I was in South Florida, uh, here in uh, North and South Carolina, it gets very hot. You get dehydrated quickly, and you can find yourself in a real mess if you don't have proper hydration. So I went ahead in the last couple of weeks and purchased the Lifesaver systems. I purchased the uh, Lifesaver jerry can. Uh, I believe this is the 20,000 liter can. And then with this can uh, comes the filter. And then also I purchased some extra Lifesaver carbon filters for it. for. Uh, filtering out bad taste and certain things and then these are good for 10 years if you buy them sealed in the uh, foil seal here uh, also bought an extra spout for that system an extra spout for that system in case the original spout broke for some reason I also purchased a hose attachment this attaches to the five gallon jerry can and I could wash myself, I could wash a wound, I could uh, wash dishes, wash my face, shave, whatever, take a shower um, with this attachment, okay? So the assorted attachments that go with that product are also important. And then I put everything in a nice little zippered bag so that I could keep it in the van or grab it and go uh, when I need to. So I could grab that, this can, I could grab the green bag that goes with it, and I've got the ability now uh, for a home base situation to keep myself and my family hydrated, washed, and cleaned for an, in, for an interval, for a time period. Um, so then I went ahead also, and I bought the more portable unit, the Liberty unit, and this, um, like the other um, Lifesaver units, uh, it's a... Uh, this Lifesaver Ultra Filtration technology has been around for over 10 years. It's used in international aid agencies, 
and militaries around the world. It removes 99.999% uh, percent of viruses, uh, 99 99.49s after that of bacteria, and 99.99% percent of cysts. Um, it comes with a scavenger hose that I'll show you in the uh, complete video when I do it uh, to put in a water pump from a water or a stream or a lake uh, or a pool of water somewhere. Um, it requires no chemicals or electricity to, to charge it. It's got a fast flow rate. It gives you instant clean water that's drinkable or used can be used to wash. It's got BPA free materials. It's light and compact. It's got a four, 400 milliliter or 14 ounce uh, capacity in this bottle. Uh, you can attach it to a carabiner. It's got a carabiner attachment on the lid. No strenuous pressing or sucking is required. Uh, a SteriTouch antimicrobial materials are used in the construction of this uh, system. So again, I can take this and I can fill it uh, at a location uh, from a pond, a lake, or a stream. I could drop the hose into a pond or a lake or a stream, pump the water into it. I could pump with an, an additional uh, attachment. I can pump into a hydration bladder, directly into a hydration bladder, and have filtered water in that bladder. And so, uh, and then this will do uh, 530 uh, gallons, which is um, amazing. Um, 2,000 liters or 530 gallons. The nice thing I like about this system is when your filter is clogged or at the end of its lifespan, it will no longer function. So there's no guesswork out of this. Um, once you prime it, and we're going to show that in my next video and get it ready, which I'm going to do today, I'm going to prime it like it says in the directions, um, and I'm going to get it ready to be used in an everyday uh, situation and this bottle can be carried in a bug out bag it can be carried in uh, a shoulder type bag like I have here in this Maxpedition bag right now on this side of the bag I have the Berkey uh, sport bottle that I, I like as well I don't think this uh, the sport bottles you know in the vicinity of 20 25 bucks uh, this is more like uh, 89 to a hundred dollars depending on where you bought it but the Lifesaver bottle gives me more assurance. It filters out more particulates, including viruses, uh, that the Berkey does not. I don't believe it does. It gives me more peace of mind, and it lasts a lot longer. So I could take this bottle, I could put it in place of this in this pack, and now I've got a really rugged uh, ability to uh, procure water. And so that is um, one of my goals this year and we're already it's already may guys so we're already you know almost almost six months into the year uh going into june and hurricane season and all that you guys know what happened last year especially in puerto rico uh and down in texas and in, in parts of florida uh, with the hurricanes that went through things were contaminated people died people needed to be evacuated and having clean drinking water is essential if you are a prepper or are preparing for a rainy day uh, you've got to say to yourself what do I do when the tap shuts off what do I do when the water source sources in my area are now contaminated I can't just simply turn on the water and take a shower take a drink boil water what do I do well, with the lifesaver system you've got that covered and then we're going to go into more videos I'm going to do a lot of videos on water procurement because I want to learn more, I want to use the systems, I want to test the systems, so when I do need them, I'm ready uh, to go. I'm practicing what I need. And I'm going to buy redundant systems, backup systems, uh, ones for different members of my family, ones to keep in store, extra filters uh, for this thing. You could buy extra filters uh, for any of their products that come sealed in the foil and they're good air is not getting to them they're not contaminated they're not sucking in moisture from the atmosphere and they're going to be uh shelf stable when you need them when you need to deploy them so hey baby how you doing yeah I'm gonna, we're going to go to the we're going to take the little doggies to um the park uh, where there is a lake i'm going to show you do some other videos from that location 
um, this weekend. So they're getting excited that we're, we're getting ready to do that. So uh, I've been watching a couple videos from other preppers, uh, which I haven't been doing recently because I've been so busy working and moving and settling in here. Uh, but I plan on doing a lot more uh, talking videos, uh, scenario-based videos um, related to prepping because uh, this year, I believe, is a very pivotal year. We're in a time of crisis, not only in this country where we're seeing um, SHTF being played out before our eyes every day. We don't know day to day what's going to happen, what the crazy media is going to do, what the crazy um, uh, Antifa people are going to do, what the crazy Obama supporters are going to do, what the uh, crazed socialist, communist, uh, and Marxists in our society that live amongst us, that, that teach in our colleges and our schools. Um, we don't know what they're going to do. We, I know one thing. I know they're prepping. That I do know. So if you're not prepping and you're not one of them, um, you need to be prepping because I guarantee you 110% that they are prepping and they are being aided, trained, and they are getting ready for their next uh, cycle of uh, whatever you want to call it, uh, Western civilization hating protests, uh, Christian bashing, Christian hating, um, Jewish hating, uh, Judeo-Christian bashing and hating. And we're seeing that played out because, guys, I know um, there are some of you that don't believe it, but prophecy tells us in the Bible uh, that these things have to come to pass. They will come to pass. Um, this globalist system that's forming in, before our eyes, that's, that's trying to destroy and degenerate uh, the family, the family unit, uh, morals and values, things that we hold sacred uh, to us in this country and what it's founded on is being eroded and a new system is being put into place. You don't have to facilitate it coming in. You can and, and should resist it uh, by prayer and, and supplication and prepping as the Lord leads you um, like he's leading me. Uh, I don't have to sit by idly and let this system roll me over like a freight train. Um, I'm going to do my best to stand my ground in my earthly, uh, in the earthly realm, and then also keep myself motivated and keep myself looking upwards in the spiritual realm because I know that uh, Yahweh is uh, watching over me and Yeshua is um, uh, at my right hand. Okay, His spirit, his Ruach HaKodesh, is at my right hand. He lives in me. He gives me guidance. He gives me wisdom. He gives me the ability to expose these people uh, for what they are. Um, and so that, that is what motivates me to keep on prepping. As I see world events unfolding, Syria, the Middle East, what's going on in North and South Korea, uh, when they say peace and safety, the Bible says, sudden destruction shall come upon us. So we know there's going to be peace and safety, but it's going to be a false peace. I pray for peace. I wish and hope uh, that there is a lasting peace uh, that comes in my lifetime and in the lifetime of my children and my grandchildren. But I know what the Bible says, and I know that when they say peace and safety, sudden destruction is going to come amongst us, it's going to come upon us. So I am ready for um, whatever may come my way, and I have to be able to protect my family, um, my children, my grandchildren, those loved ones around me. And I have to wake them up as well, because many of my loved ones are in the dark as well. And just like I'm sure you have people, friends, and relatives in your realm, if you're prepping, that your friends and family are in the dark. Um, they may say, I'm coming to your house in a time of crisis. And I tell my family and friends, if you make it, if you survive it, if you survive the trek, if you're not killed by marauders, looters, or crazy neighbors that want, that want to kill you and want your stuff. Um, guys, we live in perilous times. So if you are not prepping, know that the enemy is prepping. And that's what motivates me to prep. Because I know the enemy is procuring Hygiene. I know the enemy is procuring uh, ways to uh, resupply with water. I know the enemy is procuring guns and ammunition 
and at the same time wanting to take my right away. And that's when I go out and buy and per procure more guns and more ammo, more knives, more stabbing weapons, more ability to uh, survive and to stand. Okay? And so that's my video today. Basically, we're going to focus on water procurement in the next few videos, but I'm also going to intertwine in there the importance and the reason why I'm procuring this. It's not to look pretty. It's not to say, hey, I got the next Lifesaver bottle on my shelf. There you go. I have it. No, I want to be able to deploy it, to use it, to know how to use it, and to be able to use it because someday soon I may need to deploy that bottle in, in a life and death situation. Okay? Thanks for watching, guys. Stay ready. Anthony signing off.